Well, Mitt Romney sounds more and more like a contender instead of a pretender. The left side leader is staying exceptionally quiet for a reason. And unless something drastic happens, we already know who the next attorney general will be. Plenty more from the Thursday Midpoint Water Cooler. Let's welcome in Washington Post reporter and blogger. You devour her insights every day at the Right Turn blog. Jennifer Rubin joins us. Jennifer, good to see you again. Let's get started with a little inside Washington, if you will, because my goodness, Mitt Romney's out there on the stump. He's leading in some polls and he's taking shots at Hillary Clinton. He's just it, it, it's like he never even left the campaign trail at this point, isn't it? Well, I have never thought much of this uh, stunt. Um, I think it's going to burn out after a while. I think there are plenty of uh, great people running around, uh, Scott Walker being one of them. I think this is kind of a desperate stump at this point. And I think you're going to see uh, when money is required that uh, he really just doesn't have the pull he used to. With regard to that, then, is he setting himself up for something? Because it would seem that maybe he wants to become a, a senior leader. Maybe he wants to become the voice of the party. What's his end game? Well, if you wanted to do those things, you wouldn't run because you would maintain your stature as sort of the grand old man of the party. It is hard to figure out what he's doing. I think it's sort of a pathetic case of self-delusion and a bunch of aides and donors spinning him so that they can be involved in one more presidential campaign. If it is a pathetic case of delusion, then at this point, doesn't this hurt the overall Republican aim heading towards 2016? Because to some people, it's wasting time. I think he is going to be a non-factor, to be honest. Um, I think uh, Republicans who are out there, whether it's Iowa, whether it's one of the later primaries, um, are not going to pay much attention. They're interested in the newer candidates. And if he runs, he's going to get a certain segment of the vote. Maybe he'll draw some people away from Jeb or from some of the other uh, more moderate candidates. But in the end, I think the party is going to choose who they're going to choose. And there are some really good candidates out there. Scott Walker had a great outing in Iowa. Marco Rubio did exceptionally well at the Koch brothers uh, get together in uh, California. So I think there are plenty of other choices and eventually he's just going to kind of fade into the background. Sounds like Hillary Clinton is pushing back her date to actually announce if and when she will run. And I say that with tongue exceptionally in cheek as well. Uh, as well. She's been very quiet for a while. It would seem to be a good strategical move in some ways. Let everything else happen. Let it all run over the top and then come back and make the big splash. Well, someone said she has problems when she is seen as being political. What I would say is that she has problems being seen. As soon as she runs for office, people remember, oh yeah, they don't like her very much. So this is a double-edged sword for her. On one hand, she wants to keep the electorate engaged, at least on the Democratic side. On the other hand, in order to keep her poll numbers up. She can't go out in public. So I guess she's just going to keep hiding. She doesn't really have a primary challenge. So I guess this can go on for quite a while. The real interesting thing is going to be when she has to, at some point, confront the media. Um, and she's also going to take, obviously, a lot of incoming fire from all of the Republican candidates from third party groups. How is she going to respond to that? And what is she really running on? What's the justification for her campaign? I think Romney and Hillary maybe should run as a ticket together and, you know, with the slogan, why not? Or because, <laughs> because neither one of them really have a rationale in the fact they want to be president. A Romney-Clinton ticket, or a, a Clinton-Romney ticket, of course. Uh, less than a minute left here. Loretta Lynch's hearings continue. It's, I, the people that we've talked to say it's pretty much a fait accompli. She will be the attorney general simply because she's not Eric Holder. You agree? Yeah, I think she will be. You know, the choice is keeping Eric Holder or getting someone new. I will say she said uh, two things which at least appeal to me. One is that she's not in favor of legalizing marijuana. And the second is that she believes that our some of our anti-terrorist uh, programs are providing a useful service. So in that regard, maybe she won't be quite as horrible as Eric Holder. I don't care one way or the other whether she's confirmed to be perfectly honest. It makes no difference. It's still the same president. There's still not going to cooperate with the Congress. They're still not going to abide by constitutional limitations. So it's sort of a whatever you want to do kind of move uh, as far as I'm concerned. And there's probably the best way to go ahead and put a reminder. You can catch Jennifer Rubin again. The right turn in the Washington Post. Her blog is there. She joins us from time to time right here on Midpoint. Jennifer, always a pleasure. Take care. Talk to you soon. Nice to be here. All right. Take care. We're going to take a break and join me on the other side. It is time. Matter of fact, it might even be past time for a very personal and a very impassioned plea for one individual to reconsider that possibility of wanting to be at the White House in 2016. It's telling it like it is right after the break. <laughs>